Today I'd like to talk a little bit about how to find the center of a hole or a, a number of holes on a bolt circle. That is if uh, the shop doesn't blow away. We just had some pretty severe weather come through here. Um, every now and then we'll come across on a project um, a number of equally spaced holes on a specific diameter circle or a bolt circle or a pit circle like this. Um, if it's four holes and those holes happen to be on axis, it's, it's real easy. All you have to do is offset half the diameter of the circle. But if it's an odd number of holes or if that four hole pattern is rotated 45 degrees, then it's a different story because none of the holes are on axis and it's, it's not going to be an easy thing to find the center of them. Um, what you can do, one way to do it is you can take the part out and set up on a rotary table, um, locate the center of the, of the bolt circle, locate the center of one of the holes and then just rotate around with your rotary table. In this case three holes, so that'd be 120 degrees between holes. That's one way to do it. Uh, you can sit down and dust off your trig tables and uh, calculate the center line of these holes using trigonometry. That's going to take some time. Uh, there's a lot easier way to do it if you happen to have one of these nifty charts on hand. Um, I've been, this is, this is, I've, I use a lot of charts to save time and this, this is one I use probably the most often. Um, I, use, I keep it laminated and stuck on a file cabinet right next to my mill with an easy reach. It saves a lot of time. It's a lot easier to go to this chart and find, calculate the center of your holes than it is to set up a rotary table or, or do it by trig. Uh, in this case, if you look right up here in the corner, you'll see a, a three hole pattern. Okay, right there. And this, this three hole pattern has, has constants on it. It has a constant for the distance from the center of the hole over to these, this uh, second and third hole on the bottom. And that distance is 0.433. And it also has a, another number for the Y offset from center to these holes, which is 0 0.250. So those, those are constants. These are all based on a one inch diameter bolt circle or pitch circle. If you want to use them on a, you know, a different sized uh, bolt circle, like in this case, one and seven eighths on our part here, or half inch or three quarter, whatever you want, all you got to do is multiply those constants by the diameter of your uh, your pit circle or your bolt circle. Real easy to do. Let's uh, let's go through it here. Uh, let's see. Let's well, let's let's do this top hole at 12 o'clock first. That's the easy one. Right, we don't need a chart for that. That's just offset half the diameter of the uh, of the bolt circle, or half of 1.875. So uh, I've already set up on the center of this circle, lo locating off the edge of my part, so I know where the center of the circle is. So now we want to offset in the y dimension for this first hole. We want to offset half of 1.875. which is 0.9375. Let's go ahead and do that. Right about there. That's the first hole. Okay, now the other ones. Well, we have to offset our Y. Do our Y offset of 0.25 inches times the diameter of the bolt circle. So that's 1.875. 0.25 times, so our offset for these two holes in the Y dimension is 0.4688. Let's go ahead and do that. Right there. Okay, and then the, the X offset for these two holes is 0.433 times, times the diameter of our bolt circle. And that is 0.8119. So let's go ahead and move over 0.8119. Right about there. That's a second hole. And the other one's the same, same offset, just in the other direction. 8119 to the left. So there's our three holes just like that. We didn't have to set up a rotary table. We didn't have to work it out with trig. Just use this nifty nifty table. Um, this one this one in particular I just put together myself. I took uh, 
I use, I, I've used several different tables in the past and each one of them has benefits so I kind of combined them and set this one up. If you wanna, want one of these for yourself, you can either go to TomsTechniques.com and go to the uh, reference page and download it from there or you can click on this one right here and it should take you right to the, to the PDF file. So that's all I have on finding the center of uh, holes on a bolt circle. Hopefully it'll save you some time in your projects.